Ooh. All right, guys. Welcome to the 16th ever episode of Dope Talk TV. Is yours truly low key? Got John here with me. Got Jay here with Boom. me. You already know how the fuck we're rocking, man. We're back with another episode for you guys. We appreciate everybody that's been rocking with us. Everybody that's been subscribing, sharing, liking, and just interacting with us, man. We really appreciate it. For we're real. At, we're over 120 subscribers now on YouTube. Boom. We appreciate every single one of you guys, man, Shout from the bottom of our heart, man. For real, for real. Facts. But yeah, man, we're back with another episode, guys. We're about to spark up. These guys already sparked up and shit. They smoking, but, yeah, um, I'm but yeah. Up. It's because we fucked up the first time, and Facts. we had to restart again. It's I just want to be it's honest It's my with fault, you guys. guys. It's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, for real. That's how we get things right. Yeah, yeah man. That, yes. It's all a process. It right. It's all a process, for we sure. We grew a little bit. For sure, man. But yeah, shout out to everybody. Like I said, that subscribe, like, hit that notification bell, and is sharing and, and rocking with us, man. We really appreciate it. We're back with some more content for you guys. And um, yeah, man, the first thing I want to get into is shout out of the day. And our shout out of the day today is Jay. Our boy Jay here, appreciate man. Appreciate it. You know, he's been real from day one, bro. He opened his home up and, that, you know, let us come vibe with him every week. And that's something that... Fact, not everybody we, does, bro. Thank you, thank like, you guys. appreciate it, man. So we appreciate I appreciate you, bro. y'all, Look at us, bro. man. Nah, we we real, smoking, bro. man. We smoking in his fucking room Boom. right now. That's respect, bro. Boom. We get it. You know Started I mean? from the bottom, now we're here. We gotta smoking. Do we gotta do. <laughs> but yeah, man, we appreciate you for real, for real. No doubt, you, bro. You've been a big help. You've been a big help. But, Team um, effort. But yeah, man, episode 16, guys. How y'all feeling today, man? How y'all feel feeling? Like feeling on episode 16. We moving along, bro. We're moving. Yeah, we moving. We're moving along, bro. And 2020 is it, oh, guys. We're going to grow. We're going to give shit away. Man, we want you guys to come on this journey with us because, yeah. bro, it's going to be a big, big journey, man. We got big things planned and, you know, big God things. willing, we're, we're going to get to our goal. <laughs> I read The Alchemist that changed my life. You should read it. Yeah, too. he's been telling us about that shit, man. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. Great book. For real. I'll put the link down in the description. Yeah, 2020, everyone's goal should be to read The Alchemist. Start 2020 with that book. Everybody should read, man. Everybody should read, bro, for sure. And it, yes. Especially write shit down when you, you know, like on a board. Like get a whiteboard, write down your goals every day. Applied knowledge you know? is power. Shout out to Sway because he showed me that. That's Applied true. knowledge is power. When bro. you write down when you write down your goals, it gives it's a higher percentage of you actually completing them. Them facts when you see them facts you yeah know? you constantly got to have them in your face for you to re- remember what you're doing it for because yeah. you know us I mean? as humans you know we what, what's that word we procrastinate we're very good at yeah. procrastinating. We procrastinate we make excuses you know oh yeah oh, we'll just do it tomorrow so sabotage yeah, we'll just do it tomorrow you know it's not a big deal but it is a big deal it is you know nah, people, for real don't if you st- if your new year's resolution is to go to the fucking gym go to the fucking gym don't just do it for two months, and when it gets harder, inconvenient, stop. Because that's the problem with fucking society. As soon as for shit gets real. a little hard, or somebody tells you no, people want to fucking quit. Like, I don't give a fuck who watches this shit, or who comments, and who doesn't comment. I'll fuck with the ones that do, though. And whoever doesn't, and I know people are Whoever doesn't shit. fuck you and get yes. the fuck off our channel, <laughs> yes. bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, for real, bro. We not... Listen, man. If y'all come in here for the politically correct bullshit, bro, yeah, this the ain't sensitive the channel. Shit. No, fuck this ain't you. the channel, man. We're, we're here to give our opinion if you don't like it who gives a fuck if you do we appreciate it we rock with you too like us for who we are and i'm a piece of shit sometimes and i can say that confidently i think like an asshole bro i can yeah i think like an asshole but yeah for sure yeah man we're gonna get right into the first subject man it was something that it was something that i wanted to talk about because i just found it fucking funny it was uh, <laughs> <Some> furs, <laughs> suspect, <laughs> suspect arrested on a kayak after a hand paddled police chase but I guess we just did inspire everybody to really go after what they believe. He probably believed he was going to get the fuck away. <laughs> My nigga on a kayak? Yo, listen yeah. to this. Ajante Patton, 24, was wanted on an outstanding warrant and in connection with an unrelated case involving domestic violence when he fled from police in North Portland. The suspect initially tried to flee in a car, then abandoned it and ran down to Columbia River, police said. There was a police... <laughs> That's where police said he grabbed someone else's yellow kayak <laughs> and struck out onto the chilly river. <laughs> he jacked. Up. He kayaked. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta catch me, dog. Yo, yo, yo my nigga. <laughs> yo, he kayaked somebody. He kayaked. <laughs> yo, get the yo, fuck out. Yo, kayaked. Yo, New word. Gonna, how you gonna try to get away on a kayak? What was his G? name? It is Jante. I'm gonna call him Kai Jackie Jante. Kai Jack and Jante. Hashtag Kai Jackie Jante, bro. 
It says, <laughs> Patton managed to hand paddle the kayak about a thousand yards from the shore before police caught up. A thousand yards? A thousand yards. Yo, let me see that picture. Yo, this nigga's wailing. <laughs> Yo, if you put it up, they'll see. <laughs> the other one, the other one. Yeah. Or that one. I don't know if you could look at that guy. Look at that guy. <laughs> hey. That guy was out hey. <laughs> in the yellow kayak. Yeah. All confused and All shit. All confused and shit. Nah, you know what? Hey, I'll tell you what. I remember the first time I been I went kayaking, bro, and it was with this guy, <laughs> and it was with it was with Sway. You remember nah, that? For, yeah, yeah, that shit was up. lit. Man, I'll tell you what. You're gonna need a lot of upper body strength. I'm gonna tell you that because I was really. Oh, tired. so you saying I can do it then? Maybe. We're back on this again. Yo, my dog swore. We're back no on juice, this. Poster's bro. coming soon. Look no juice, juice, man. Thank you. You're looking thick. Ooh. For real. But, but not. Nah, yes, kayaking ain't no joke, bro. You better know what the fuck mm. you're doing. Nigga wasn't going nowhere. I don't know how to canoe. He wasn't going nowhere. I'm sorry, bro. I don't know what the fuck he was thinking. You might as well kept fleeing in that car. <laughs> That's true. Shit. That's true. You like, had a better chance. Of you had a better chance in the car, in the car sure. than the fucking kayak. Or hide in a fucking tree like a monkey. <laughs> or just yo, don't yo. or just don't do it at all whatever it was the fuck that you was doing uh, you know what I mean <laughs> yo chill chill uh, <laughs> yo chill hey, yo hey, y'all hey, relax hey, man we can't do that hey, we can't do that hey, yo, <laughs> cheers to that guy cheers to, hey no nah, but bro hey yeah. my god cheers to yeah. your you the real MVP your, you, you know what I'm saying MVP. dedication to trying to get make away sure, bro make sure you don't show the sign I don't give uh, a fuck nigga listen we drinking <laughs> beer we grown as hell you know what I'm saying come vibe with us man yeah it's I let Saturday my nuts night. hang real talk it's I Saturday night and hey, we out this bitch hey we got Remy with us yo Look Remy out. boy don't get him riled up man. don't get him riled up he a bastard nah, sometimes bro, let him sleep for real but hey y'all go follow him on Dope Talk Remy man you know what I'm saying like he got his own Instagram page, and he he appreciates yeah, the love, too, right, bro. Right, you, you vibing out here? Yo, vibing. Yo, that nigga is high as a bitch. <laughs> yo, well, animal uh, people yeah, are going to come after. Peter, don't. Oh, you know but what you saying? know what we said in the beginning? Fuck him. Fuck him. <laughs> we do what we want. We do what we want. <laughs> nah, for real, bro. But, but yeah, we, man, that shit leads me to our next topic, bro, which is, like, People that have fucked up priorities, man. Hey, oh, Lord, oh we're living my. in that. People, hey, let's get into age. that yo, shit, yo, bro. I just wanted to bring it up, man. Because, because honestly, it touches all age groups from teenagers all the way to fucking senior citizens. Yep. Facts. All There's the way people up. that have fucked up priorities. Because you see some old people that, that, you know, they just got their life just fucked up, mm-hmm. man. They be doing some crazy shit. And you know what? And then you got some people that are like... 20 years old and they got really good head over their shoulders you know it's just depending on how you raise and you know where your mindset's at um that's what that's what i feel depends, like bro yeah. you see how many homeless people there are in florida and they're all a lot of the majority of them are old hmm. old people they're all vets for some fucking reason they're all fucking veterans you I know don't what get i think it, it is a I scam think it- I no. think it's a scam too. I think it's a scam. It, for it some might of be them. a lot of them are scammer, but a lot of them I feel like they just they seen some shit and they never got the right help for for their situation. But you and talk they feel priorities? like they feel like they can't, you know, function. Like function in society as a regular citizen. Bro, but if you're gonna ask for money, I was at the light the other day and the dude sitting there. I don't respect that. I don't the dude's sitting that. there on his phone. He's sitting on a bucket with a sign in between his legs and he was surfing through like the phone. I feel like, yo, my man, let me hook you up. And then smacking the fucking phone out of his hand. Nah, for real, yo. Dude, what the fuck? Priorities fucked up, oh, my man. Nah, man. If you're if yo, hungry? Get, get your bills paid. And then spend whatever the fuck you want to spend. Like, you know what I mean? Listen, this podcast, we're going to keep it all the way at Dow yeah, Wow, man. We're going to keep it a thousand, real. bro. For real, like, we yo, a lot, of, a lot of the people that are homeless are there because of bad decision yeah. after bad decision after bad decision. They're yep. not there by mistake. Yeah, you know what I mean. If you don't got legs and arms, and you're sitting there, and you're just like, I'm gonna fucking help you out. And there, I don't. And don't get me wrong. I know there's situations where people go through shit because we've all been there. But at the end of the day, Burger King's always hiring, McDonald's always hiring. I'm not shitting on nobody that works there. But what I'm saying is, if you gotta make it somehow. You know, you can't be too prideful. with somebody, Oh, I'll never work there's at Burger King. A, nah, yeah, somebody. there's always jobs out there, bro. Exactly, you can, that's you can what I'm get saying. hired cleaning, uh, you know, cleaning offices at night or some shit. Like, there's so many nah, jobs they, out here that you could fucking go do, bro. Like, saying on your ass is never the option. Exactly. Nah. Saying on your ass is never the option. And they make more money than probably people that work their ass off standing nah, there. Because yeah, people but, oh, yeah. pity them. But those type of people are the people that make the the real homeless people look bad. Like, the people that really need help, yeah. they make them look bad, bro. Because there are people out there that are in fucked up situations, bro. 
that they you know they're just down they're they're down on their luck at that time but that's it's not true. their life and that's not where they want to be and they have ambition and they're ready to get out of it you and then there's those other it. people that are just trying to finesse you for a couple dollars off the side of the road Yo, and you know what we got to say to those guys that's true. Fuck, fuck you guys that's true, that's true. fuck you Fix, you know what i used to work in downtown orlando for a while man my first job ever right and I, I work down there and i see a lot of homeless people i know these people by their names you yeah. know what I mean? I'll be like, yo, Nelson, was good? You know, I, they'll ask me for a couple bucks or a cigarette. I was smoking cigarettes at the time, guys. He's like, I got these cheeseburgers. You know? I was dumb. I was dumb and young, you know? <laughs> and nah, man, I remember I gave him, I, I only had like a plate of food, bro. I didn't even have cash on me. I gave him a plate of food and he said no. And he threw the he threw the plate of food on the floor. I would have smacked the fuck out that And nigga. I wanted to smack the shit out of him. But I've been know, like, look, Nelson, you know what? You know? But nah, that's disrespect, man. Yeah, that is disrespect. But I never, I never held him again, and I, I'll never forget it, man. And it kind of nah. gave me the, it kind of gave me just like the thought of like, man, I never really want to give any homeless person some money now because I don't know what they're gonna spend it on. Let's just keep it a buck. Yeah. They can act like whatever. Like today on the side of the road, I was leaving Walmart, and I look and I see a guy with a baby in a stroller. Asking for money? Just asking for money. Who, who, I don't like when like, people put their kids in there. Like, like some ba- people, the baby's out there, just like in the hot sun. Like it wasn't yeah. that hot today. You know, it was kind of cool. But nah, you know but what? Still, still, sun, sun in the like, floor. Yo, know, t- but the thing is, like, if you're capable, if you, you know, if you're capable of working, why aren't you out there asking for jobs instead of asking for money? There you go. Why aren't you out there trying to fucking hustle some something up or find a way to do something else besides ask for money? Cause honestly, let's let's keep it a buck, bro. <coughs> Nobody in this life is gonna hand you shit. That's right. Nobody in this life is gonna come and hand you an opportunity or hand you this, hand you what you know, you gotta go work for it. You gotta find the opportunity and when you find it, take it. And this is you Florida, I mean? bro. So when I see these people at the fucking light in the middle of summer, if you live in Florida, you know how fucking uh Florida summer feels like. And you walking back and forth in that intersection, a four way intersection, bro, that's an eight hour shift. At a fucking Walmart or a fucking Denny's, bro. What the fuck are you doing? You know that he ain't no joke. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, suck a dick. Bro, there's always something good out here, bro. But that 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 leads... That's a perfect segue into our next subject, which is sensitive. the sensitive generation that we live in. Because I'm pretty sure that yep. that little four-minute little in, uh, exchange that we just had, a lot mm-hmm. of people are offended by it. Yeah. And a lot of people are fuck. getting in their feelings. Yo. That's fine. We gotta we gotta start setting the standard, setting a new standard of yes. not letting your feelings get involved with rational thought. Freedom, freedom, you know freedom of speech like, too, man. Like, everybody wants to, to talk speech? freedom of yeah. speech, but everybody's so offended. Oh, Fact. he called me this. Oh, he said this and that and this song. Oh, whatever. It offends me. It offends me. It's like shut the fuck up with the offensive Fact. shit. Bro, you get offended because you allow yourself to get offended, my friend. That's a personal problem. Listen, yes. everybody's responsible for their own res- for their own emotions and their how they portray them, how they, you know, put them out into the world. That's facts. Everybody is responsible to express themselves how they feel. That's if you disagree with how I express myself, fuck cool. you. I'm not oh. gonna change my way of expressing myself because you feel offended. Yeah, bro. You People feel I mean? too much nowadays. Yeah. We live in get the field that get yeah. your feelings out of it. Yeah. Why does everything have to involve feelings? You got to separate yourself. People want to act this. People are so fucking yo. We are gonna. I'm gonna give my fucking opinion because we live in opinion as you know yeah. generation. Yeah. So um, my opinion is that I don't give a fuck. Right? There's certain things that are cool. Certain things, whatever. But you know what I've been seeing lately? These guys that are fucking. You know, I n- nothing against nobody because people, you do whatever the fuck you want. You live your life, but don't try to force me to. You know, accept something or or a certain thought because, yo, that's your fucking thing. I don't give a fuck. That's That's your thing. But men should not be fucking cutting their dick off and then going and competing in women's sports. Genetics are genetics, you stupid fucking people. If you're a man, you're a man. You're strong. Whoever even allowed that is like, bro, you apparently don't understand physics. Like, Like, you don't don't understand the body. A man is a man. You don't understand anything. Like, bro, that's not even right, bro. That's and they're right. winning, of course. They're like, oh, of this champion wrestler. <laughs> bro, look at that dude. He's a brolic ass dude. These are women. That's a fucking man. So at we, the end of the day, biologically, that is a man. What's the domestic violence when you cut the cops show up, you got in a fight with your wife? Why do they arrest you? 
Cause you you're the you're a man you're aggressive so just cause you cut your dick off and you you identify as a woman now I gotta fucking let you play women's sports <laughs> no and, and, and wrestle and compete is, against that, women like what the fuck like, I mean, not right. my throwing, problem but. with that is is like listen bro live your life you know what I'm saying if that's what you want to do cool yes. I'm not I'm not gonna sit here and bash you for I don't it. judge but you. when I sit here and give my opinion and let you know that I don't agree with it and let you know that I'm not gonna conform to your way of thinking and don't me cry. calling you a she. Or a her, I'm not gonna do that because in my eyes you're still a man. Yeah, we gotta respect each other's yeah, point so of view. So just like how I respect your way of life, respect my perspective. I'm not gonna yeah. come up and disrespect you. Nah. You know, but don't don't sit here and try to like make me feel like a villain or make me feel like a dick, like a bad guy because I disagree with your your lifestyle. Because you might yeah. disagree with my lifestyle. That's true. You know what I'm saying? True. Like yep. so it does. I like, smoke weed and can't advertise my shit on Instagram. If you don't Fuck like you. weed, then you don't Fuck, like weed. Yeah, yeah. that's bullshit. Yeah. Like, but but real talk, bro. It's something that we need to touch on because we live in a generation that's way too sensitive, bro. Yeah, way bro. too sensitive and, and opinionated. And, that's why we're here. I mean, giving your opinion <laughs> is cool, but when somebody disagrees with exactly. it, and gets theirs. Don't bash them and don't make them feel like they're fucking less or like they're stupid or something because they disagree with you. Because th- that's all it is is a disagreement. At the yeah. end of the day. If something really pops off in this world, bro, that's all we got is each other. Yeah. So all that bullshit would be set. I'm telling you, until something yeah. super drastic happens on this earth, we're, we're not going to understand If it's life or death, you know what I mean? If it's life or death situation, and let's say it's the end of the world. Let's say that, you know, it, it, you're not going to look at that. You're going to look at you're going to look at him as a human being. You feel me? You're not going to look at him as somebody, oh, that's a gay, that's a fat. You're not you're going to look at him and he's a human being. You yeah, feel what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. Like that shit is already thrown out the fucking window. But I'm not gonna sit here and be like, "Yo, you're you're right." Like the way that the way that you think is correct. Like no. Yeah, no, like, no. That's that's not, that's not that's not how I'm. I'll going. let you live your life and let you know that I disagree with it. Yeah. That's all. Yep. That's all. And I have you know I have gay friends, bro. Me too. I have yeah, gay my brother. Yeah, I, love I don't my have brother. a transgender. Shout out friend. to Tito. Tito. Love you. Shout What's out up, Tito, Tito, bro. I, I don't have a transgender friend, but. My I wife's just, cousin's transgender. Unless you unless you understand that I don't agree with it, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like you know do certain things, then we can't even be friends. Like, bro, but you know what? I've my I've had friends that are transgender. I've had friends that are cross dressers. I've had friends that are gay. My brother, you know what I'm saying? I don't judge nobody. Like I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I really Word. don't. That's your life, dude. You do whatever the fuck you want. It makes you feel good. If it makes you feel good to call yourself a she. That's cool, bro. Whatever the fuck you want to do. Seriously. You shouldn't be competing in women's sports, though. No, no, facts. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Because like, I would not you know want what? some brolic ass dude wrestling my daughter. Yo, if anything, they should just have a trans, like, section. Yeah, like, yeah. if you, you, you know, know I mean? give them like, their, own, yeah. their own sports teams and yeah. shit like that. Where it's technically guy women fighting against other guy You know, honestly, women. Yeah, I don't think it should be, right. like... I don't even think it should be even existed. I, know that I don't think it should be even existed. But you know what? Exactly. I'm trying to be. I'm trying. He's confused and shit. I'm trying to. Hey, I'm trying to. Hey, but you know what? I'm trying to be open minded. I'm trying to. Nah, be yeah, nah. I'm listen, listen. As fuck. You know and I mean? and and please, guys, don't 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 take this the wrong us, way and crucify us and all this. My opinion, Just because I don't fuck. agree with it. Doesn't mean that I'm I'm gonna I'm a disrespectful yeah, person. No I'm hate. gonna be out yeah. here bashing that community because you know I have respect for that community in the sense that they do go through a lot of shit too. But at the same time, you gotta understand that the world isn't gonna conform to that way of thinking just because you're offended. And bro, but it's you know not I mean? even just that. You know, we don't even want to make it seem like it's just about that because it's even politics. Like, I'm tired of hearing the politics. Like, oh, Trump's in peace. Trump's like, who gives a... I don't give a fuck. Everybody's like, oh, I know you're going to be Facts. crucifying me. Like, oh, you fuck should give a politics. fuck if because it, of this or that. Listen, bro, if he's in peace or not, guys, you won't hear it here who gives a fuck. Yeah. Real talk. Does that affect you or your life in any way? The people are going to say, yeah, it does because you live in this country. Like, the system's not rigged. You know what I mean? Yeah, hey, like, come on, man. That's like, kind of ridiculous. You know what we say? Like, chip at them, bitch, yo. Nah, <laughs> nah, look it up bro. look it up what that means nah man you know what I'm fucking zooted man I already finished his first fucking J I'm I light didn't up. I'm Yo, about to light up a second my shit's about to be done too bro Yo, I'm about to light Real up a second talk. you know what I mean but hey. yeah guys 
But once again, we appreciate everybody that's rocking with us. So like, subscribe, share. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Thank you. And Everything. light up with us, man. I'm Every, you know, Yo, light up. Fuck up, man. Yeah, what we else? Fuck, yeah. I'm fucking lit, bro. I'm ripped. You but know? yeah, man, enough of that. Enough of that sensitive generation bullshit. Which you know, we do live in a sensitive time. Yeah, but I love all y'all who support yeah. us, yo. If we you love fuck with us, but if you transgender yeah. fuck with us, we Facts. fuck with you. you I don't give a fuck. Yo, and you know what? We're all young, bro. You know what I mean? I'm 24 years old. I, I feel like. I just feel like we're older. Like, in, like I just feel like somebody's trying to shove a dick in yeah, my mouth, no, I feel, I, I, and I don't want to. That was kind of weird. <laughs> that was kind of fucking left. <laughs> you know I was out of left field. But now we're gonna actually move on from that, and uh, yeah, we're gonna get into this. <laughs> we're gonna get into the subject where, um, yeah, man. Couple goals, bro. Life goals. This fucking guy, bro. Dead man let his wife hide him in the freezer to collect benefits. Real MVP. And he had a notarized fucking letter. Who notarized it? I don't know. Who was down it with said, that? Like it said that the the lady the lady didn't read what it said. Like she just notarized it, I guess. <laughs> like that makes it better. But yeah, man, it says when Gene Saroon <laughs> Mathers Died in Tool, Oklahoma, or Utah. Last month, police were stunned to find the remains of her late husband, Paul, whom they didn't know was dead, stashed in a chest freezer. But Paul might be able to explain. Thanks to a notarized letter police found at the now-deceased elderly couple's house in their retirement community. Wait, wait, wait. So you're telling me that the guy died already and he just, like, she acted like he was still alive? Or, no, no. Yeah. Or, or did she kill him? No, he died. Listen, listen. I'm going to get there. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to get there. It says the letter reportedly mm-hmm. suggests that Saru Mathers did her husband's or hid her husband's body with his permission so she could continue to live off of his benefit checks for a decade. It was notarized on December 2nd, 2008 <laughs> to, to Police Sergeant Jeremy Hansen told Fox 13. Fox he movie, added that her liars. husband appears to have died from terminal illness, so she didn't kill him. He was yeah. just—they planned this, bro. Yeah. So they, so this they, is a plan. They're smart. That's finesse. Yeah, they said yeah. terminal, so that means that they knew he was gonna die. Yeah, like, smooth criminal. Whatever he had. Yeah, she. Yeah, he was like, "Yo, I'm gonna take care of you, baby. Mm-hmm. Don't worry. This is the plan." <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, bing bada boom, bibbidi bobbidi. Bibbidi Bro, it says investigators found the letter while combing over the couple's house following the death of. Uh, Surin Mathers, 75, last month. Paul Mathers, 69, was found wrapped in garbage bags in a chest freezer, Damn. according to an unsealed search warrant obtained by CNN. Bro, this is Yo, crazy. how'd that happen? Like, he died and she was like, well, yeah, she we just all put him saw in the freezer. Coming. Police have not released the text of the notarized the letter. However, they say they're now looking into the possibility that Surin Mathers might have been collecting her late husband's benefit checks with his permission from oh, beyond the grave. Social security? It was social security. That's fucking poverty. Bro, social it's security it's is only, fucking It's only like $700 a month. Like, what the fuck are you going to do with that? My you kids can buy, You that. can buy some groceries and you're already broke. Yeah. They believe Saru Mathers collected more than 177000 from the government after her husband's secret death. <laughs> <laughs> Finesse. <laughs> She's the real MVP. That should have been the shout out of the day. What was her name again? The shout her out. R.I.P. Saroom Mathers, man. Shout out to y'all as a couple. Because honestly, bro, I do the same shit. They like, fucked yo, Uncle Sam. Honestly, bro. Uncle yeah, Sam don't why like not? It. Fuck these niggas. Why not? I'm going to die anyway. Yeah, that's and a right, we might that's as well get yo, paid that's, for it. That's right or die. That, Uncle bro, Sam? That's real right or die. Nah, nah, what, that nah, that nah, man what? cared about here. He's yeah. like, yo, listen. I'm going to die anyway. I know it. So how about you just don't Queen tell nobody when I do. And you just collect my money. Yeah, because I know that you... You don't even know his life. It could have been like... Yo, because I, I know my grandfather. My grandfather takes care of my grandma. She's never worked a goddamn day in her fucking life. That's salute, bro. You know what I mean? Facts. That's salute. Yo. So For you real. don't know what situation. Maybe she's never worked. She don't have no experience. How's she going to take care of herself? Exactly. And not just that. Yeah. They might not have. So let's just finish it well, off right just here. Just finish talking, bro. And just, you know what? You want to hear this interesting story? We got nothing. The fucking cameras ran out of fucking <laughs> memory. <laughs> So you're Fuck hearing that, our voice man. right now. Nah, it's all good. Doing no more. Nah, but you know what, guys? Yo, this part of the growth. Yo, this was episode 16, guys. I really appreciate We're everybody. We're going to end it here. Um, Bitch. 
Shit, man. This is it, guys. <laughs> Thank you to all of us. We're back with another episode. We appreciate everybody that rock with us. <laughs> yep. You know what I mean? Episode yeah. 16. So like, subscribe, share, comment, hit the notification Bing. bell. You know what I mean? This is, this is a growth in progress. So, yeah, for real. You know, right now it might not be no video, but well, well there's definitely no video. <laughs> but, <laughs> hey, we, we, we appreciate we're everybody, high. and we'll be back with another episode Bye. soon. Yeah. So Bye. we out this bitch. Boop, boop, boop.